But this is the thing. It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again, and again, and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. I mean, maybe you're doing your job, but why you got to stop me from doing mine? Because if you're willing to go through all the battle you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to someone, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no. After you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same.